So I just purchased a military modular sleep system. This is basically a sleeping bag combination system used by the US Army. Uh, I believe it's still in use, but this is several years old, as far as I can tell. And I bought it off eBay. It was a military surplus seller and so this is used but what this is is a military modular sleep system meaning it's made of components that can be used together or separately and it's also known as a army bivy bag system or something like that uh, but bivy if you search bivy like b-i-v-y which is short for bivouac meaning like very temporary shelter and this is very minimal in terms of shelter this is it what you see here so this is the outer bag that you're seeing it's got digital camo print on the top and there's the bottom it's just a solid color solid green and that is the exterior cover it's waterproof and so you can sleep in this uh, basically in all weather and be dry inside and then as you can see I just pulled out a sleeping bag that is the intermediate bag made for colder weather and that I just pulled out the darker green is what's called the patrol bag which is lighter and made just for kind of I guess not as cold weather milder weather basically and so as you saw I pulled each out of each other and you can use them separately like this patrol bag you could use it to I mean when the weather is not as cold and then you could put it inside the intermediate bag the lighter color bag together for when it's colder and supposedly it's rated to negative 40 degrees uh, if you use all three together I just showed you the tag this system is made by a company called Tenier Industries and I believe they only manufacture army or military goods and typically colder weather items like the sleep system and I saw that they have some jackets uh, thicker jackets for colder weather jackets and pants So what I'm doing is I'm, I just bought this. I just got it today. I'm checking it out. I'm looking at the tags. So the sleeping bags will have tags at the foot. And I'm also just checking the condition, checking the foot area, see how clean it is. I was giving a sniff to, to see uh, how it is. Basically, it was smelling really good. Uh, the seller had, or whoever had washed the whole thing so it had a nice aroma to it didn't smell used at all and overall it was in very good condition so this is the bivy bag it's really well made it's the interior seams are taped uh, so you know it's waterproof and you know that okay this is the second generation of the modular sleep system the older version had a different kind of camo print. They call it Woodlands camo print or Woodlands. And then this is the digital camo print bag. And so being of a second generation, you know they must have improved upon it. And you know this is what they issue to soldiers in the army when they go out or I guess deploy into the I don't know what you call it the field I'm not military so I don't know the exact terminology but I know that military surplus items have to be good quality I mean even if the lowest bidder did win the contract it's still got to meet certain minimum standards right anytime you put up a request for proposals there's some kind of criteria list and major manufacturers will bid on it they will 
you know, create the product that they feel will win the contract. And it's got to meet a minimum level of quality. And that quality, that standard has to be pretty high because this is for soldiers who are going out to battle or whatever it is, their mission. And, you know, a soldier has to have a certain level of comfort in terms in 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 that they could survive right i mean they're going out there to do battle to win wars and their basic human functions basic human needs have to be met and so this sleep system is designed so that you can take it in all different situations in different weather conditions and have hopefully a decent night's rest however decent you could get i guess if you're out there in the field or in a battle situation i have no idea i can only imagine anyways uh, i was looking for a colder weather sleeping bag because the one i have is rated to 30 degrees and it at 50 it didn't work i was up all night shivering and so i thought i, I should get a colder weather sleeping bag because i plan to do some camping and there's so many choices out there too many and they're very very expensive and so somehow i got turned on to army surplus stuff and this is you know army surplus it's as i mentioned already it's got to have some minimum criteria minimum standards and it's got to uh, be tested basically i mean this is tested i guess because it's military surplus this is surplus goods that the military no longer uses so somehow it found itself on the market and i was able to buy it off ebay and this being a second generation of the modular sleep system, you know it's got to be improved upon the first at least, and it's got to be good. Right now I'm testing the quick get out. The zippers are extra heavy duty, and they're designed so that you can quickly get out of it in case you need to, well, I guess confront the enemy basically. And so that's what I was testing right there. It didn't quite work uh, as I expected, but you know, it, it it does open pretty quick. I mean, you could force it open. You don't have to pull on the zipper like you would have to on a regular sleeping bag. You could just kind of pull it apart. So I had just tested the two sleeping bags. It was really warm. And now I'm buttoning it up to the exterior bivy cover, they call it and with the cover on you can basically sleep in this thing uh, anywhere outside and it'll be waterproof and with both bags you should be able to sleep comfortably or at least not freeze to death in negative weather conditions negative degree like negative fahrenheit conditions and the bags are basically mummy design. Uh, there's like a hood type thing that goes over your head and it zips up really high. I didn't zip it up all the way just because I'm just testing it out. So once you're inside, it's not like a whole lot of room. I mean, it's obviously not a tent. And so, you know, you have the mobility of a sleeping bag inside. So zipping it up is not super easy. I had put this Velcro, the bivy cover has a Velcro attachment so you can kind of cover your face 
um, that made it a little difficult to zip it up all the way. So I removed the Velcro cover or detached it and then zipped up the side. It made it easier to zip up the side. So it's basically a sleeping pod. And once you're inside, you cannot zip it completely around. It stops at the side. And then, as I mentioned, it's got the Velcro, so you could uh, enclose the very top of the bivy. And you, I guess, kind of want some kind of opening so that moisture from your breath could escape and not condense inside which you know can be very bad in very cold weather situations now i'm testing the quick get out <laughs> it's not working quite as well. If you sit up, it makes it easier. You can just pull it apart and relatively get out quickly to face any threat that might be coming your way. Now I'll show you how you can pack it up. And I've seen this on YouTube, basically. So you can roll it up just like that with everything tucked in. So as you probably saw, I was snapping in the buttons to attach all the sleeping bags to each other and to the bivy cover. And then I'm just zipping it up now to kind of keep everything together even more. And then you can just kind of roll it up like a regular sleeping bag. And it packs down pretty much like a regular consumer sleeping bag you might buy at a super, uh, sporting goods store. You probably could get it much smaller than I end up getting it. But this is my first time rolling it up. I'm not trying to make it super compact, but just trying to get all the air out and hold it tight against each other uh, or against itself and just trying to make it as small as I could but not trying super hard. And the bag, the stuff sack, it's just like any other camping bag stuff sack. It's got a bunch of straps, it's got a top cover so that you can kind of seal it in the sleeping bag. And um, yeah, it's very much like typical camping sleeping bag you'll find at any sporting goods store. And this was under $200. It is used, but the one I got was in really good shape. It only had one maybe wear mark on the stuff sack. And maybe some of the filling was kind of pulling out in some areas. I mean, very, very minor. Overall, I'm just very satisfied and happy with this purchase. Uh, for under 200 bucks, getting a sleeping bag system at least, That'll take you under 40 degrees Fahrenheit for four hours, they say, which, uh, you know, maybe 
if you're camping four hours is not enough obviously but hopefully it won't be at negative i mean first of all if you're camping at negative 40 that's pretty rare right you wouldn't normally want to go out in conditions like that overnight you never know it could get that low but probably not in most situations you're not going to go camping when it's that cold anyways i thought it was a great deal i was confident in what i was buying you know there's just so many choices you just don't know which one to get sure you can look at all kinds of reviews and videos but at least the u.s army they're gonna buy right they're gonna try to buy it right the first time so you kind of have something that's vetted already it's what they issue to all their soldiers who they depend on to win battles for them right so anyways that's the military modular sleep system made by Tenier or Tenier Industries.